Hello, I'm Rick Maxey, your superintendent of Horry County Schools. Each year, school districts are required to present an annual report capturing the academic achievements of students and the fiscal stewardship of tax revenues for both operational and capital expenses. Unlike our yearly state report card and other publications and productions we use to communicate with stakeholders, our annual report captures a calendar year, January through December, encompassing portions of two academic years and two fiscal years. For some time, we have provided our annual report in both printed and online documents. This year, we are pleased to bring you a condensed summary through this video message. We hope to reach a larger audience, appeal to those who prefer a video delivery model, and of course, we hope to pique your interest to seek our more comprehensive report. The 2017 year was one with many firsts, new milestones for achievement, gains in enrollment, and accommodations for growth. It is my pleasure to capture some of these highlights for you. The class of 2017, the largest class in HCS history, earned a record high 87.5 million in scholarships and the most dual credit courses of any graduating class before them. Graduates collectively had an average SAT composite score that was 44 points higher than the state composite and 56 points higher than the national composite. 76 percent of graduates indicated they would attend college after high school and among them 77 percent were eligible for lottery supported scholarships the highest percentage in the district's history although not exclusive to the senior class hcs students are better prepared to advance to post-secondary schools because they are opting to take more rigorous courses a record number of students took advanced placement courses and more of them earned scores to qualify for college credits. More students took more tests and still attained an impressive lead over the state and national percentage of exam scores between three and five. District students outperformed their statewide peers on all four mandated end of course tests given to students enrolled in Algebra I, Biology, English I, and U.S. History. Our students also earned more A's and B's on end of course tests than their counterparts throughout the state. Our high school students also take the ACT college entrance exam. Last year, our students' ACT composite was above the state average, with math scores our best among the areas tested. Last spring, all 11th graders took ACT, but this year the state is allowing high school juniors to choose to take either the SAT or the ACT to determine college readiness. Our students in grades 3 through 8 outperformed the state on all required assessments that measure English language arts, mathematics, science, and social studies. These assessments are among those we have a responsibility to share with you through our annual report. If you are a parent, you know our district uses other assessments to measure progress throughout the year to help us ensure that our instructional program, both content and teaching strategies, is preparing students to be successful in mastering grade level standards and performing their best on state assessments. HCS reached a record high enrollment of 44,060 during fall 2017 with 872 additional students added in just one year. Sustained growth is a challenge, but we opened the school year with three of five new energy efficient schools ready to go. Ten Oaks Middle School joined the Carolina Forest Attendance Area, relieving overcrowding at Ocean Bay Middle. The new St. James Intermediate opened to serve grades five through six for the St. James area, creating capacity at the area's feeder elementary and middle schools. A new Socasty Elementary School opened, replacing the former school, which was both overcrowded and among older facilities in the district. The new Myrtle Beach Middle School opened just this week, and the former Myrtle Beach Middle School will undergo a conversion this spring and will be part of a grade level realignment of Myrtle Beach area elementary schools for fall 2018. The new Socasty Middle School is nearing completion and is expected to open in 2018. In addition to the new schools, other major renovations and additions were completed or near completion at Midland Elementary School, North Myrtle Beach Middle School, and North Myrtle Beach High School, replacing older sections of these facilities and updating infrastructure for current needs. All of these building projects are made possible by a voter-approved local penny sales tax. 
Our online and printed annual report includes additional information about school construction, as well as information about our consolidated budget, both for operations and debt service for the 2017-2018 fiscal year. While there are certain requirements for an annual report, there are also celebrations and accolades that mark 2017 as one to remember. I can't help but be proud of our students, teachers, and schools, and I want to share some remarkable accomplishments with you. One of the highlights was HCS Early College High School winning the National Blue Ribbon Schools Award from the United States Department of Education. This coveted award represents the hallmark of success and celebrates schools for exemplary teaching and learning, student performance, and closing the achievement gap among groups of students. District schools have been awarded 10 National Blue Ribbon School Awards since 2002. Five high schools are among the top 25 in South Carolina as ranked in U.S. News & World Report's annual list of best high schools. St. James High School, Carolina Forest High School, and Ainer High School each earned silver designation. North Myrtle Beach High School and Green Sea Floyd's High School earned bronze designation. Eight seniors were named National Merit Semifinalists, honoring their top academic abilities and potential for college success. As a note, semifinalists represent less than 1% of U.S. high school seniors. Two HCS students are among 14 in South Carolina and 1,936 in the nation selected as Coca-Cola Scholar Semifinalists. HCS students receive multiple honors and awards in STEM-based competitions. Ten Oaks Middle was the state winner of the Samsung Saw for Tomorrow competition and was awarded a $25,000 technology prize package. The Academy for the Arts, Science and Technology's Aluminum Assault Robotics Team advanced from the Palmetto First Regional Robotics Competition to the World Championship and was the first regional recipient of the Gracious Professionalism Award. In National History Day competitive events, HCS had one national winner and earned one-third of awards presented at the state competition across junior and senior divisions. Our students won nearly 25% of all special topics awards as well. In law-related education competitions sponsored by the South Carolina Bar Association, North Myrtle Beach Middle School's Brenda Kidd was named the Middle School Teacher of the Year, and Marina Atala of Carolina Forest High School was the state champion for the High School Mock Trial Courtroom Sketch Artist Competition. HCS students are all talent in the area of fine arts and increased representation in state events. 31 students were chosen for all state performing arts ensembles, 13 for the South Carolina Elementary Honors Choir, 9 for all state chorus, six for All-State Band, two for All-State Orchestra, and one for All-State Jazz Band. Five students placed at the South Carolina Visual Arts Competition, including an award for Best in Show. Myrtle Beach High's Principal John Washburn was named the Outstanding High School Principal of the Year by the South Carolina Art Education Association for his support of the arts. Our students are competitors in the academics, the arts, and athletics. 2017 state championship teams include Myrtle Beach High School's volleyball team and St. James High School's girls golf team, the school's third consecutive title. Individual state championships were earned by St. James High's Smith Naffel in girls golf, Socasty High's Brianna Young in girls discus throw, Carolina Forest High's Taylor Steele in girls 100 meter breaststroke, and St. James High's Casey Mitchell in boys 500 meter freestyle. I could continue to talk about the achievements of the year, yet in honor of this video format, I'll invite you to visit us online for more highlights. Our schools, students, teachers, and staff prove time and time again that they can compete against the best in our state and the nation. We have much to be thankful for, much to celebrate, and much to do as we work to inspire new possibilities, each greater than the year before. It is my pleasure to serve as your superintendent and to work with the Horry County Board of Education and the HCS family to be a part of building foundations for academics, citizenship, and service for all students. Visit us online for more information and join us in the exciting work that lies ahead. Thanks for watching.